Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Appendix Captions. Here's the scenario. You have a document with figures and or tables in the appendices. And you would like the appendix section number included in the figure and or table captions. Watch this video to learn how to do this. In order to include the appendix section number in the table captions, you must have the appendices style as a numbered heading from one to nine. Since my document already has heading levels one through five, I'll make my appendix level heading six. If you're not familiar with the heading numbering, watch my heading numbering video. To add heading six to my list numbering, go to the Home tab and in the Paragraph group, click on the multi-level list. Find the list, right click and select Modify. Click on the Format button and Numbering. Select the More tab. Now select the level you want for the appendix. I'm going to select Level 6. Go to the Link Level to Style and select the correct heading number that you want. In the Number Style for this level, select the style of the auto number. I'm going to select the uppercase letters. I don't want any parens around my letters, so I'm going to delete them. I want the word appendix before my letter, so I'll add the word appendix. I want a period after my letter, so I'm going to add it here. Now I'll select a font. I want Times New Roman, bold, and 14 point. Click OK. Next I'll select the position. I'm selecting left, aligned at zero, text indent at zero, and I'm going to say OK. Say OK again. Now I'm going to click on Heading 6. If you don't have it in your Styles Gallery, click this button for the Styles dialog box and select it here. Click the down arrow and select Modify. I want my Heading 6 to be Times New Roman, 14 point, the same as the auto number. I want it bold but not italic, and I want my text color to be automatic. I want my appendices to be centered, then I'll say OK. Now I'm going to insert a caption. Go to the References tab. In the Captions group, select Insert Caption. When the Captions dialog box opens, select your label. Click on Numbering. Select the format for your number. Check the box next to Include Chapter. And then select the heading number that you want for your appendix captions. I want heading six and I want to use a hyphen separator and click OK. Click OK again. Now you're going to want to format your caption style. Open the Styles dialog box, click on Caption, Modify, make your selections, and click OK. Now your figure captions are set up for your section numbering in the appendices. You can do the same thing for your table captions. Reference tab, insert caption, change to table, select numbering, select your format, include your chapter number, your separator, and click OK. Now, if you only had figures and tables in the appendices, this would be fine. However, if you have figures or tables throughout your document, so for instance, you had figures in section three, four, and five, and some tables in sections two and three. You will not be able to use the same caption label in the appendix figures and tables because the same format would be applied to all of your captions. See the original appendix figure and table. They reflect a one instead of an A. So you'll need to create a new label for your appendices. So for instance, I'll go into Insert Caption, and in the dialog box, I'll create a new label. And say OK. Then I'll create one for Table. Now I want to link them to Heading 6. Now I'll place my cursor where I want the first figure in the appendix. Go to Insert. Click on the label, 
appendix figure. Your numbering should be good. Say okay. I'll do the same thing for table. Here's a tip. If you would like to keep the same format naming conventions for your appendix figure and table labels as you have for the rest of the document figures and tables, you can rename your figure and table captions at this point. Just highlight the word appendix and delete it. If you will be adding many figures and tables in your appendix, create a macro and put it on your quick access toolbar. To create a macro, go to the developer tab, select record macro, name your macro, no spaces, no dashes, must begin with a letter. Perform the steps of the macro. Go to the References tab, Insert Caption, select the correct caption, say OK. Use your left arrow to go to the front of the caption. Delete the word appendix. Stop recording. To put the macro on the quick access toolbar, click the down arrow, select more commands, select macros, find your macro, add it, modify it, select an icon, say OK, and OK. Now test it out. The macro is added to the quick access toolbar. Now go to the top of the document and create a list of figures and list of tables. Add your figures, insert table of figures. Now add your list of tables. Now you'll want to add your appendix figures and tables. In order to delete the space in between, go to the end of the line, hit the delete key. Do the same thing here. And that is the end of this lesson, Appendix Captions.